Welcome back to our Understanding Tectonic Plates series. In this short but enlightening video, we'll embark on a journey through the fascinating history of plate tectonics, a journey filled with groundbreaking discoveries and visionary scientists. Our story begins as far back as 1596 when the Flemish cartographer Abraham Ortelius made a curious observation. He noted that the coastlines of South America and Africa seemed to fit together like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. Ortelius dared to propose that these two continents were once united but had since drifted apart due to mysterious natural forces, such as floods and earthquakes. This was a bold notion, given the prevailing belief in a static earth. Fast forward to the early 20th century, and we encounter a visionary scientist named Alfred Wegener. In 1912, Wegener presented his revolutionary idea to the members of the German Geological Association at Frankfurt am Main. Wegener's audacious theory was straightforward yet profound. He suggested that the continents were once part of a colossal supercontinent he named, Pangaea. Over hundreds of millions of years, Pangaea had slowly fragmented, and the continents had drifted to their current positions. Alfred Wegener's ideas were initially greeted with skepticism. Critics wondered how continents could move and rock. Wegener's explanations were innovative, but lacked a clear mechanism to explain the movement. Nevertheless, as more evidence accumulated, such as the remarkable fit of South America and Africa's coastlines and the uncanny similarities in fossils and geological formations across separated continents, Wegener's theory gained traction. As the years went by, scientists built upon Wegener's work. They started piecing together the concept of supercontinents like Gondwana and Pangaea, which included the land masses we recognize today. The puzzle of Earth's history was slowly revealing its secrets. But it wasn't until the mid-20th century that the theory of plate tectonics truly took shape. The discovery of mid-oceanic ridges and ocean floor spreading provided the missing mechanism for the movement of continents. Scientists like Harry Hess proposed that the oceanic crust was continuously spreading away from these mid-oceanic ridges, leading the continents to drift. In the 1960s, the international geological community finally embraced the theory of plate tectonics. It explained not only continental drift but also the seismicity of oceanic trenches, mountain formation, and volcanic activity. Today, plate tectonics is the foundation of modern geology. We understand that Earth's lithosphere is divided into tectonic plates, and their interactions at plate boundaries are responsible for shaping our planet's dynamic surface. Like, subscribe, and activate notifications for more captivating explorations into Earth's wonders. Until our next adventure, stay curious and stay safe.